Hello, my ghouls with guns. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shay, aka the Buff Vegan Witch. Um, and today we are in our jack o' lantern robe. We are nice and cozy. We've got our witchy mug, which I've just finished my like hundredth cup of tea today. Um, I am sick. <laughs> so long story short i don't think i want to be a competitor um this is now my second prep that i've tried to get through and like there's <laughs> my mind is just kind of all over the place um partly because i'm sick but partly because this is just like it's a little bit embarrassing but at the same time like not so much embarrassing it's just like it's just hard for me to admit defeat and um competing was something that i never wanted to do the bodybuilder that got me into bodybuilding was rich piano which you know he competed in his earlier years but he says time and time again he never made it to the olympia thank god like and that's all he ever wanted he just never made it but he was in the end so appreciative of that and um during the woman's workshop that i went to the npc woman's workshop there was a lady who was going to go to the olympia as a bikini competitor and even she was like she like started crying and she was like i made the decision not to go forward in it and she became a judge instead um but ultimately <laughs> it's so tough and um i have as you guys know i have so many other passions when it comes to like food and veganism and cooking and like i hate to sound like that weak person that's just like oh i couldn't do it because of oreos or whatever the case may be but like <laughs> in 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 the grand scheme of things that's a huge part of it um it's very hard for me to come out of something that i put my all going into and that's a big reason why I'm ill right now. Um, basically, I started this prep January 6th. And um, I originally was going to go with the Cutler, which is April 9th. So I had a little bit more time. But then I saw that the Samson was coming up sooner. And I was like, well, I might as well just like knock both out. <clears throat> and, um, you know, it's only two weeks apart. Like, I think I can make it. And I really dug myself <laughs> into a big old grave. Um, the amount of supplements, the amount of cardio, the amount of just overall time that I was dedicating to this and pushing onto myself was just honestly so exhausting. And... Um, I'm not trying to say anything bad about my coach or, um, you know, he, he has so many competitors and like everyone speaks so highly of him and I do really think he knows what he's doing. Um, but we were talking the other day and, you know, he's been doing this so long. He even said like he kind of lost a passion for it for a while and, um, sorry, my nose keeps, <laughs> keeps running. Um, I keep, coming across people that have used him and there's you know they all say he's a very good coach but there's a few things about him that um they would maybe you know not love so much or kind of made them go with somebody else and a lot of the times when they do go with other people they don't place as good but like for instance my diet um I kind of like when I decided I was going to compete again I kind of just jumped into the end of my prep where I was the end of my when I quit my last prep um I jumped into that diet just like immediately because I was like we don't have much time like let me just do already the ultimate from like you know <laughs> what I need to do so I I went and did that and I and I pushed it towards where we were the very last few weeks of my last prep right um and I was going really strong in the beginning because that's just my mindset. And once I dedicate myself to something full-fledged, like, that's it. I'm already taken off with my feet, like, through the air, right? So I was already on that. I was already on an hour of cardio. I was already, like, you know, cutting this out and cutting that out and drinking this much water and cutting out my supplements because I was so afraid I was going to hold water from, like, BCAAs 
or just little things like that. And so what happened is that when I cut all that out, I was feeling really good the first few weeks. And of course, I'm just going to be out front and honest with you guys, in bodybuilding, there are steroids involved. Like, obviously, you know, you, even bikini girls, like, you don't step on stage without taking something. You just don't. And, um, unless it's, like, a 100% natural competition, and even those, like, I really don't trust. I don't trust anyone in this sport is not taking some kind of gear. Um, it's just, I just don't think it's, like, literally, it's just not a thing. Um, so needless to say, I was on quite a few different supplements. And one of them is meant for burning fat. If you're familiar with the industry, you can probably figure out what that is. I don't just want to come forward and say it because, you know, steroid use is illegal. So the supplement, the fat burner that I was taking, um, causes your heart to race and it causes your blood pressure to go up so basically once your heart starts racing your blood pressure spikes and i could actually feel when that was happening you like get such a bad headache you like hear your heart pounding in your ears and you start like actually like shaking like this like i'm not even kidding people like i actually thought like something was literally wrong with me because i was shaking like this um and i still kind of have like that's just normal shaking. I still kind of have like a little bit of the adverse effects of it. I've been off of it for like three or four days now. Um, but I was pretty taking it pretty intensely. I was taking it twice a day, once in the morning and one in the afternoon with a cup of coffee. So I was taking caffeine on top of this thing that already makes your heart race with an aspirin that thins your blood. So there was a whole lot of compounds going on and then there was some other stuff that I was taking along with that. Now, everything that I did worked incredibly. I <laughs> started January 6th. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I started January 6th and I was 160 pounds. Currently, as of last Wednesday, my last weigh-in, I was 138. So I dropped a significant amount of weight in just over a month. Like, I cruised through that, right? Which is awesome. But I also really, really, really pushed myself to the extreme. And like I said, that is partially my fault because that's just kind of what I do. I'm in it. I'm like, what more can I take? What more can I do? How much more cardio do I need to have? You know, can I walk to the gym too to add on top? Like, like it started becoming this whole like obsession with how much I can like how lean I could get, not necessarily my weight, but then it would become like what it happened in my last prep too, where it'd be like the night before weighing it and I'd be like, fuck like what if I didn't lose any weight and I would go in the sauna for like two fucking hours and like drive home literally almost passing out like my windshield would get like hot from my body heat um because I would sit in that sauna for so long and then I would not drink any water the whole night <laughs> and I would wear an extra small corset like around my waist just as tight as I could to make sure that I lost weight and I was actually losing it much quicker than I was even supposed to um but you know obviously that's received as praise good yay we lost more than we needed to da, da, da. so like in my head I'm like cool so next week we got to do the same thing and it would get to the point where I was not sleeping because I was actually so concerned with the fact that I'm not gonna make it I'm not gonna lose enough weight I'm not you know something's gonna be off whatever and so then I would have to start taking sleeping, like sleeping aids to actually get myself to go to sleep. Because as you guys recall my preps, I was not sleeping. Um, partial, partially, <laughs> part of that was due to the extreme hunger. Um, I just fucking couldn't go to sleep. I was like, I'm so fucking hungry. Like I literally, it's like the worst. I can't even describe it. It's just awful. And, um, you know, I'd be like, okay, we're going to wake up and do faster cardio. And then I'd wake up and I'd literally be so hungry. Like, I, I couldn't even focus on anything else but getting my first meal in. And I'd eat my first meal and be like, shit, like, I'm still so hungry. And I have to wait three more hours to eat. And it's like, it's really hard to keep 
doing that. It's so hard, especially when you get to a point to where your body fat is so low that you're running off of the rest of your body fat. You're no longer running off food as fuel. Um, my brain absolutely like could not, could not even function. <laughs> couldn't really make sentences. Couldn't, um, just going to work was like, a whole task I'd have to drink like two energy drinks to get through the day which became a thing of where I felt like I was cheating when I had an energy drink because that wasn't on my plan and I was like shit I'm gonna hold water I'm not gonna lose the weight the sodium even if I got the ones that didn't have any sodium in it that like c4 I think it's called so it got to the point where I was literally having plus pre-workout before I work out because I, I would get to work I'd be like okay we can we can cruise till noon without an energy drink after I've had two coffees and then I would have another coffee I would have my energy drink at 10 a.m because I was so tired I couldn't actually function and I drive for work so that just wasn't gonna happen like I had to I just had to so then after work I'd be like well shit now I have to spend another four or five hours at the gym pre-workout I would take like two scoops of pre-workout I was having an insane amount of caffeine, like literally insane. Um, and like, I want to preface this and say that this is not anybody else's fault. This is not anybody else's like doing, telling me to do these things besides the instructions of drinking the coffee with the fat burner. Um, but like everything else was like physically because I could not actually get through my day, um, or my workouts without like taking some kind of like aid. And even then it was like so freaking hard to get through the workout. So freaking hard to get through the cardio. Like just like when you're living day by day like that and just praying and, and, and wishing that it was like the show time already so you didn't have to do that anymore it was just not worth it. And the whole reason that I wanted to try competing again was because the last prep that I did, my mom was, you know, in the hospital going through her surgery and also like in the middle of her like breast cancer extravaganza. And for some reason I decided, let me compete. <laughs> anyway, um, I have, like, very bad time anxiety, so I'm like, shit, like, let me compete while I'm still 23, um, before I get any older, you know, <sighs> so I, I got time anxiety and wanted to go forward and, and do something with this, um, and it's been a passion of bodybuilding, has been a passion of mine for so long, I figured it's probably time I start competing, um, but really, like, why does it matter? Like, all it is is glorified starvation, you guys. Like, that metal and that overall sword is literally a mixture of three things. Who starved themselves the longest, who took the most drugs, and po politics. Because there are a lot of politics involved in the sport. And it comes down to the point of it's so political if your makeup looks better, but the person that, like, you know is in good standing that does makeup didn't do it even though yours might look better if it was done by someone else the other person will win like it's literally that like it's literally that political and um and I'm not even in the big leagues yet so like if I was to make it and that was the other thing I kept thinking about like both these shows that I were doing that I was doing are national qualifiers and I kept telling myself I really don't know if I want to do this again and so if I win and then there's another person that really wants to go far with this, which I don't even know why you would want to. Um, but if there's a person that, you know, really has more of a drive for killing yourself and I won and I would become qualified to do a pro show and I didn't do the pro show, like what if that other person really wanted it and would have taken it, you know, would have done something with their win? Um... And it could have not happened that way either. And I could have killed myself and not even won. And, and that would have been devastating too, obviously. But um, it just was becoming so much pressure. And I'm just not a competitive person. I'm not a showboaty person. Um, which is kind of funny because I care a lot about my appearance. Like I always like to make sure my hair and, you know, my makeup and my clothes. And like I'm, I'm, I'm very showboaty in that way of I like to 
always make sure I look presentable and my best, but I do not <laughs> want to get on stage and do a bunch of poses in front of these judges. Like, that just doesn't sound ex exciting to me. And it was so funny because every time I would pose, I would shake, like, so bad. And they would be like, did you just train? Because they thought, like, my muscles were that fatigued. Like, that's how nervous I was just in front of the other girls I was training with or, like, my coach or something. And, like, I'm like, fuck, like, how is it going to be when I step on stage? Like, I'm literally going to be like, <laughs> so bad, so bad. And... Like, I kept telling myself, like, it's weak to quit. It's weak to quit. Like, don't quit. Like, food isn't that important. Like, you know, you're fine. It's just, like, keep going. And, you know, this is going to be so good and do all these good things for you. But really, I don't think it's going to be that great from anything I want to do. Because ultimately, I was doing it to prove that you can do it vegan. Because there's not any vegan physique competitors that I know of. There's not any, like, really big vegan girls. Like, a lot of the competitors that are vegan are, like, the bikini wellness figure division. And those are a bit more, like, feminine. Not that physique and bodybuilding can't be feminine. But those are the very, you know, those are very overpopulated categories. A lot of females really want to do that because it is more of the feminine category. Um, versus, like, physique and bodybuilding is like you know a more extreme muscular look muscular maturity um so i struggled with this for a long time um to the point where you know when you're this hungry like you get cravings it just happens because you're so fucking hungry you start saving every single picture of a cookie that you see on Instagram because it just like the thought of like having a cookie and like just that explosion of sugar in your mouth is like fucking like it's insane it's it's actually ridiculous how food crazy you get when you get that that like hungry um so I was like screenshotting every single thing that I saw and just commenting on like all these people's pictures of vegan pizza, like the drool emoji because the like, guy just wanted it so bad. And then I would go take a bite of something because I kept saying it. Of course, it made me want it. And I was so hungry. I'm like, I'll just have a bite and spit it out. Right. So then I go to have a bite and I actually can't spit it out because I'm so hungry. My, my body just actually refused to spit it out. So I would swallow it. Before you knew it, I ate the entire pack of fucking Oreos or whatever it was. Then I'd feel so guilty. And then I would go shove a toothbrush down my throat and throw it up. And I'm not, I'm not like saying that's what every competitor does. But like, honestly, I don't know how you get by without like putting, like you just can't put it in your mouth, but you're so hungry. It's like, it's like this constant fucking fight. And I really feel like the fitness industry doesn't emphasize how mentally damaging it is getting that lean and that shredded not to mention I am now physically ill because my body <laughs> could not handle any more of the extreme things that I was doing and um to me fucking a stupid metal and a fake sword is not worth it and I can't support something where I know what it takes to fucking get there. And it's just, I am an extreme person. I am extreme with my makeup. I'm extreme with my tattoos. I'm extreme with my look in general. I'm extreme, you know, in a lot of ways. I don't think being vegan is extreme. A lot of people would say I'm vegan, so that's just something else that I'm like extreme about. And this is something that is actually so beyond extreme that I actually cannot support it. And I actually cannot, cannot go through with it and commit to it and feel proud if I won. Because that would just tell me, cool, you suffered more than anybody else here, right? Or you, because ultimately, like, it doesn't matter who suffered more, we all suffered to get there, and we all suffered immensely to get there. So, 
I just don't want that fucking medal. Like, that's not something to be proud of, that you destroyed your health, destroyed your metabolism, mentally wore yourself down to the point where drinking an energy drink with zero calories feels like cheating. You have to throw it up. I don't want, I don't want that, and I, I don't want to live with that mentality, you know? It's just not healthy, and, um... Like, yeah, you could go say eating a bunch of junk food is not healthy either, right? But, like, that's not what I'm advocating either. Like, I want a balanced lifestyle. I just really miss being able to, like, have some creamer in my coffee or not have a fucking scoop of protein as a fucking meal. Like, it's just not, that's just not doable for me. Um, and I really tried and I really didn't want to be, like, weak or, you know, like, pull out because of diet or, um, I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot of stigma behind that in the bodybuilding industry and in the fitness industry in general. And like the second someone's not in prep anymore and they gain a little bit of weight back because that's what happens. Your body's going to rebound like a motherfucker because you starved yourself for so long that the second you put something in your mouth, first off, you're probably not going to be able to stop because you haven't had that thing in so long. The second you put it in your mouth, it's like this freaking mind-blowing experience of like, holy shit. And it's because you're starving. And so your body wants it. And it never wants to be fucking starving in that low body fat ever again. So you just keep eating. Even if like you're sick and you can't stop and like it, it makes you feel horrible and like whatever. And then your body's going to rebound. Like it kind of doesn't even really matter what it is you eat. Your body's going to hang on to it because you've literally starved yourself so lean that like, <sighs> anyway, <laughs> it's just, it's a lot. And, um, I figured I would give it another shot because my life was a lot less stressful this time. So, and I didn't want to be a quitter, and I did just want to try it, and, you know, obviously you do want to look like that, like, it does look great, um, but ultimately, what it takes to look like that is, like, so not worth it, to the point where I was taking drugs to stay awake, taking drugs to go to sleep, taking drugs to get through cardio, taking drugs to, like, suppress my appetite and and up my metabolism and and uh, hyperextend my fat burning ability and like it's hard <laughs> because I want to be the biggest girl and obviously that takes drugs too like no female gets this big just without taking anything um but it comes it it, it gets to a point it does and all the bodybuilders that I look up to that I want to look like pretty much are dead and died at a very young age. I mean, Rich Piana died at freaking 45 years old. And after everything that I've gone through this last year with my mom and her health, that was not even a choice that just happened. Um, I don't want to put myself in such a vulnerable position by choice. Um, I got my blood work done back in December, and that was before I was taking this stuff. I had done some other stuff, but not necessarily to this extent. And my kidney and liver enzymes were already, like, not looking hot at all. And, um, there were some changes, like, my body would get super hot, like, just insanely hot. Um, and just, like, just, like, weird, like, things like that, right? And then I went to this cut and I was like, fuck, we only have eight weeks, 11 weeks. Like, we don't have a whole bunch of time. We need to go, go, go. And so I was doing more cardio than I was, you know, originally supposed to do because I was so worried about losing the weight. And I would cut even more seasoning and salt out of my diet, which is also not good because you cramp. What, what the fat burner does is it really dries you out. So you cramp. And so obviously not having salt and not having water and doing two hours in the fucking sauna because my mind would go so crazy about not making weigh in. It just, it was just was all a colossal mess. And it just, there comes a point when I had to say enough is enough. And I don't, I don't 
want it. Like, of course I want it and I want to do it, but like, fuck, not, not at the expense of this. And, um, it kind of blows my mind, honestly, like who even invented this? Like, it's like drinking cow's milk. Like, what human was like, I want the job where I could just deteriorate someone so intensely to the point of like actual 0% body fat. I'm going to charge them a ridiculous amount of money and give them a whole bunch of drugs. And like, like, I just don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. And that was the other thing was that I was looking on cheap lazy vegan is doing like a trip to Vietnam, right? The, um, the that trip would have been like three thousand, four thousand dollars for for me to go to Vietnam for this whole vegan food travel experience. That is literally how much money I've put into this show, and. Like, it sucks because I've already registered. I've already bought my hair. I've already done all this stuff. And I'm not going to do it. I'm five weeks out tomorrow. Um, but, like, ultimately it's not making me happy. It's making me stressed out. And I don't want to feel that way. You know, I drive across town once a week to train with someone who's not even that passionate about doing it. And doesn't even really know or go over my diet like I'm watching a lot of people's other preps and I know that everyone's prep is different but most other people have refeed days or like you know diet changes or um different things that are added into their meal plan instead of just like the same fucking thing like like it's just like like very confusing to me how that was just not really addressed um, and if it was, it was to just drop an already extremely low amount of food that I was eating. Um, and yeah, it worked, obviously, because I freaking got down like 10% body fat or whatever. But in like less in a month, less than two months, which is just insane. And I worked my ass off for it. But at the same time, I just, God, it was so, so hard it's really really hard and people have no idea what the fuck it takes to do this shit and I just don't think it's just not a good thing it's not a good thing for people mentally it's definitely not a good thing for you physically and like I watched videos on like women's posing right and this video came up of these girls that like passed out on stage and they were like, this video is not to make fun of anybody. This is just to show, like, you know, this shit is, like, really intense and what people's bodies actually end up going through. And these girls are, like, passing out on stage. Like, they, they make it that far and they get out and they just, like, pass out. And then they fucking plays last or it, like, impacts them so negatively because they, like, passed out. And that's just, like, horrible. Like... To go through all that and then to get there and to not do well because you passed out because you're physically so ill and sick that your body actually shut down to that point and then you don't place because of it. I don't understand it. I just don't. And like it'd be one thing if it was just like dieting down a little bit and you know looking your best and showing what you really worked hard for but this is a whole other world of politics and drugs and money and really sex because people are sleeping with people and judges and all of the things um and it's just like I just don't want to be a part of it <laughs> I just don't and um, yeah, so I don't, I don't feel like putting my health at risk at 23 years old is worth any kind of medal or win, especially if I don't even want to take it further. Um, so <laughs> anyway, now I'm actually physically ill because of everything that I've done. 
Um, it's not COVID. This is literally my body is just like purging. <laughs> Uh, basically I felt it like the last two weeks it's been really extremely brutal for me and then forcing myself to throw up and going for 20,000 steps a day plus two hours on the Stairmaster plus the sauna time plus 7,500 milligrams of caffeine plus everything else that I was doing um <laughs> my body finally was like <laughs> no and yeah so <laughs> I'm not going to compete, you guys, and I really apologize for trying it again and bringing you with me, um, but yeah, it's just not, it's not worth, it's not worth the damage, it's just not, and um, there's plenty of other people <laughs> prepping and stuff that, you know, if that's something you're interested in, you can go watch, but um yeah and like I said I'm I'm really not trying to blame anyone I'm not trying to blame my coach I'm not trying to blame like you know any other protocol that I was on but like so many people told me my supplement protocol was like fucked up and I was gonna hurt myself and all these things and I did so and I'm just really thankful that it wasn't anything more extreme or more advanced because that shit can literally stop your heart so yeah looking a certain way, being a certain number on a scale, winning a stupid medal. It's just not worth it. And you can't compete unless you're taking stuff. Like, you just really, you can't. Natural bodybuilding is dead. Um, so, that's, that's, that's the update. That's what's going on. Um, I obviously still consider myself a bodybuilder. Um, I don't need to have, like, this stigma in my head that I have to step on stage to be a true bodybuilder. And, like, I have to, like, I just, it's silly. And I need to go back to my actual mentality of, like, building. My actual body is bodybuilding. Building my muscles is bodybuilding. Building my mind is bodybuilding. And I have the determination to do what it takes, but I just was not having a good time. And I, if I'm not happy with something and I'm not like seeing that it's fucking worth it, no, mm -mm, I'm done. So call me weak if you want to, but honestly, it just takes a lot to know that about yourself and to not just keep going. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, from now I'm trying to like figure out my whole situation, um, because my body's going to rebound a little bit. I'm going to eat some food that I want to, um, I'm not going to spend six hours at the gym a day. Um, I'm going to get through my work days without drinking 7,000 energy drinks and I'm going to save a bunch of gas in my car. So, um, yeah, I just. And a bunch of money, um, because it still would have been a few more, maybe a thousand or two thousand more, and that's not even including what I've already paid. So, yeah, <laughs> that is my week six, week five, weeks out update. I'm not fucking doing it anymore. Um, but you know what? It's it's for a reason, and I I feel good about it. I feel good that I tried again. I went through it again and now I can know that like it wasn't just because of my mindset the last time it was because I actually knew that that was the right decision for me to make and still is so I can't promise I'll never try again because never say never um but I just need my body needs a break um we ran it really hard into the ground <laughs> I'm sick I'm recovering um, but yeah, um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and for your support. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it below. I'm not sure if I'm keeping the comments on for this video just because we did touch on drug use and, um, you know, that's a thing. So, <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, you guys are always welcome to follow me on Instagram at the Buff Vegan Witch. Send me a DM if you have any questions or concerns that you don't want to leave down below. Um, or if I turn the comments off, 
yeah but feel free to like and subscribe we've got a lot of really exciting things going on like i said i'm not exactly sure what my next step is going to be i'm still obviously into fitness and bodybuilding and i will still be posting about that stuff it just is not going to be show related um but you know still like protein meals and meal preps and just stuff like that that isn't this um, and then I also want to do like just some cooking ideas and recipes, vegan stuff for the summer and, um, you know, trying vegan, new vegan products and just like kind of take it a little bit more food focused. Um, cause that's another huge passion of mine. It's the Taurus in me. What do you expect? Um, but yeah, so we got some plans. I got a desk. We're going to do a whole little like set up we're getting a floor in here finally finally we will have a floor in this house my god it's looked so bad with the cement in my videos but yeah we are we are changing for the better and had to give it one more shot but i appreciate you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video Mwah. stay vegan strong